We'll now move to. Oh, I beg your pardon, Senator Roberts. Take the rest of the time that um, the Green. Two minutes the... twenty, certainly. Thank you. I move to take note of Senator Colbeck's answer to my question. As a servant to the people of Queensland and Australia, I have a duty to ensure reasoned and accurate debate in this chamber. The minister representing the Minister for Health, Senator Colbeck, has the same duty to ensure data central to reasoned and informed debate is made public. For many years, following the standardisation of mortality reporting between the states, mortality data has been made available six weeks after the period to which it relates. The latest mortality data covers the period to 30th of June 2021. It's now October 18th. Suddenly, and without explanation, data is being held back 15 weeks. The minister should have been prepared for this question. My question on notice number 3970 has been outstanding for 12 weeks. The data to June 30th shows deaths in Australia in 2021 are above the seven-year moving average and consistently above anything we have ever seen before in this country. It's troubling that New South Wales and Queensland no longer make this information public. In the absence of Australian mortality data, I'll quickly reference official British data which shows an increase in deaths among 15 to 17-year-olds of 20 per cent following the start of vaccination of that cohort, trending towards 25 per cent at, at younger ages down to four. More worrying is that this distribution is not even. The mortality rate deaths among boys was up 28 per cent and amongst girls 8 per cent. This may result from one of the 268 known adverse interactions between COVID vaccines and other prescription drugs documented by the United States FDA. Logic would di dictate that before giving a patient a COVID vaccine, one could check to see what drugs they're already using and what a natural immunity they may have resulting from a previous COVID injection. I don't think the 33 Bunnings stores in Queensland that offered vaccinations to the public last weekend asked for any of that information. I'm concerned this parliament's reckless vaccination crusade is killing people. Sadly, this government and this parliament is neither prudent nor caring. Our community, our nation deserve better. Release the data. Thank you, Senator Roberts. So the question is that the motion moved by Senator Roberts to take note of answers be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. Against, I believe the ayes have it. So we'll now move to notices of motion to be given for another day.